Hello world and welcome to the spare bedroom. Mike is hot. We are here today. Today is February 21st, 2020. As always, Eric like milks McIsaac, Kooks Cooker Roots, Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> I just call him Kooks off the bat. Uh, and Dane Crooked Cut Espo. Oh, my hair is something. Uh, as always, we are in the spare bedroom right now, coming at you live, recorded on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash the spare bedroom. Go hit that follow button, like, subscribe, follow us on all social media. Just search the spare bedroom. You'll you should us. find us. Um, and with that out of the way, I botched this intro. But <laughs> we're here. The, bo the boys, you, you boys are rough. You go we're out last night? We went out. I'm not that rough. I mean, it's 9 o'clock. I should be good by now. <laughs> I feel like a bag of ass. <laughs> um, but yeah. What do you guys do this week? What's new? What's going on? Um, because I look terrible. I uh, I played uh, I played dad for most of the week. My brother's out of town. Oh, yeah. Sister in law has pneumonia, so I was driving kids Jesus to Christ. school and Oof. taking them to daycare, making meals, domesticating myself. Pneumonia. Pneumonia. Yeah, Kate, if you're watching, I hope you feel better. Her mom flew in, so. I got I, I got the night off so we could do this. <laughs> uh, my week was pretty lame. Just worked and my cousin Dane came into town, so I was hanging out two Danes at once yesterday. It was kind of cool. Oh, that's cool. I didn't like it. <laughs> Did he yeah. call you Dane Squared like super lame? No. 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 I just said you gotta leave. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta leave. Who? One Dane is too many. One Dane Highlander two. rule: there can only be one. Uh, this week, we're kind of going back to the... Last week was a special episode. We did the Valentine's Day special. You can go watch that on... Uh, it's not up on YouTube. It's on Twitch, though. We played an MSN simulator game where these guys tried to fall in love, but... Uh, I felt failed. I mean, we I fell in love with what the game. It, what was the chick's name? The game was Emily is Away. Emily. That's right. Available on Steam. There is an Emily is Away 2, so I mean, we, oh. we always have that as a sequel when we need it. Yeah, stay tuned to Valentine's 2021. Uh, there's a couple other simulator games that I think I think we should probably, once a month, do maybe a, a drunken video game stream. I think that's kind of... It's not a bad idea. It's not a bad idea. No. Uh, this week we're going to kind of talk about some news a little bit. We're going to talk comedians. Yeah. We're going to make a definitive spare bedroom comedian list. We're going to all toss out some nominees. Uh, they have to be alive. That yeah. is a stipulation. A live edition. No Medium Carlin, no edition. Pryor, no Williams. No Hedberg. None of the greats. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to kind of toss out some nominees, debate it, and make a list for you people uh, so that you can then um, hate us for what we chose <laughs> or love us for what we chose. Yep. Yeah. Um, but yeah, first things first, I think we're going to get into what I hope is a ongoing saga that we will call the, the saga of Amanda Bynes. Yeah, let's call it, how's Amanda Bynes doing? How's Amanda Bynes? Is how's Amanda doing? <laughs> how's Amanda, <laughs> how's she got, Amanda, you good? Yeah. Amanda is away. Uh, uh, have so you guys been following this at all? It's, uh... No, you brought this up to me. I honestly forgot she was even a thing. That's like, <laughs> she used to, she used to be on all that, and she used to be uh, yeah. the wow. yeah, she used to do the Amanda show. Yeah, um, no. She now she looks like this. She was uh, she was in she's the man oh, when she was a soccer <laughs> player too. Yeah, she played play, played play a dude. Yeah. She just looks like a chick that you just like. Uh, they would like. This is Amanda Bynes She's like trying to fight you and like ask you for a cigarette. <laughs> she kind of looks like Miley Cyrus there, but like... She looks like she's from... Miley me. Cyrus, who's been to jail. She yeah. did like six months in jail. And who's this guy? That's like her... That's her new fiancé. So looks, yeah. It looks like what the uh, the actor from Ant-Man. <laughs> yeah, that? Michael, that's what I was thinking. Michael Pena. <laughs> Michael Pena, that's what it looks he's like. like. He's like dollar store Michael Pena. And I was like, good for you, Michael Pena. <laughs> uh, yeah. So Kooks, you brought this to attention. Apparently... Amanda Bynes' family won't allow marriage yeah. to this guy, even though she's engaged. She's got a face tattoo. So, if anyone's following the saga, she is under her parents. Even though she's over 18 or 21, I don't know how old she is now. She looks about 40. Um, she is under the supervision of like her all her rights. Like Her rights to do anything are actually her parents because she, went, she had a mental breakdown. 
So she Clearly. like she Britney Spears did full on Britney Spears did. Was did a few years ago was it Lindsay Lohan or Amanda Bynes who like threw the bong out the window and had that ordeal? Oh, I is don't that know. Amanda Bynes? They're uh, basically the they're same person. Pretty. Like mold them together. Basically the exact same person. Look at the size of that ring though. Like look at that rock. It looks That's, like it looks like looks, one of those ones you get out like the candy machines looks or like KFC. Fake. It, that does not look like a diamond or any yeah. sort of it's rock. All, it's all cockeyed and that doesn't look right. What, Clog, the, hell, what the hell is this thing? This other like half ring on her <laughs> finger. I don't know. I don't know, but that's a claw game ring. You're not wrong. There's a lot. There's a lot of things. But yeah, so she went to rehab. Apparently, she's been sober for a year, but she went to rehab, and uh, she's claiming her life's together. She apologized on Twitter for calling people ugly in 2013, which in today's world is something you have to do. She has those stupid cheek tattoos, those dimple tattoos, or uh, piercings. I want to see a dimple tattoo. That's... (laughs) Yeah, she was the one who threw the bong out the window. Yeah. See, she's she's had her ups and downs. She, she's had a rough time, so her parents get to make she's all the decisions. She's such a nice little kid. She's got that rough. new face tat, which looks like uh, my nephew drew it on her face. I don't know why she went with that, but it's uh, it's kind of it's it's kind of crazy. Oh God, what did I do? No, there we go. We're back. Oh, <laughs> what is <laughs> happening? <laughs> So that's going to be, we're going to keep checking in probably week to yeah. week and uh, see where Amanda Bynes is at. So, and again, ask the question, how you doing, Amanda? Yeah, how, how you doing, Amanda? I feel we should reach, is she on social media? Let's reach out she to her. She is, we should. We might be able to get her for an I exclusive could, phone interview. We could maybe get her on the phone. I think. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about views. Talk about views. That'd be at least five more views, I yeah, think. Yeah. And I don't know about any more than that. I, I, nah, seven. Seven. People love that. That soccer movie, man. I'm going to make a graphic for it, too, where it is. <laughs> Are you okay, Amanda? Nice. But, yeah, right. that's that's our new segment. Uh, what's up with Amanda Bynes? How you doing, Amanda Bynes? But right now, she's she's at a 7-8. She's, she's like, she can go, or I mean, on the scale of how bad is she doing, she's on a 7-8, not on how good she's doing. I'd say, yeah, I'd say 7. She can be doing way worse. Give her a 7, because she was at about a 9. When we hit Britney ago. Spears' shaved head area... I think that's the bottom. That is that is that is the peak. It's on a scale from Britney Spears shaving head down to... Uh, I don't know, man. I think Goldberg's Right like, down to Jerry Seinfeld eating a sandwich. Like, that's the scale of... Uh, I think Goldberg's Britney. like as low as you can go at this point. Goldberg's oh, definitely... Goldberg, that's rock definitely bottom. Too. He, uh, yeah. Well, we should, honestly, for the segment... R.I.P. to Goldberg, even though I think you're still alive. Uh, he's still alive, but we should do... <laughs> he's a, still alive. We should check in on him too. We should make. We should make. Oh, I have been. I check up on him uh, on a daily basis. We checked in. <laughs> he's in, he's in jail. Money. He's in jail right now, so there's not really much to check up on. Yeah. Well, Once he gets out, we'll see how he's doing. Mm-hmm. We'll see if he has a face test too, like Amanda Bynes. Too funny if you just got like, your mighty ducks tattooed. <laughs> <laughs> just gonna say quack. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Awesome. All right, but let's get in to the main topic. I think we're gonna do where we're gonna debate some comedians. Yep. Um, we're doing that first. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll yeah. do the comedians here. If you want to explain, Dane, how we're going to do the list what going gonna, forward. What we're going to do is each of us is going to toss out with a nominee. That person then automatically makes it onto the list. And then after that, it'll be the next person throws out a nominee. We're going to then debate kind of those two people, see how they stack up, decide a number one, number two out of that. Then another suggestion comes in. It's kind of going to be like a Royal Rumble where Last Man Standing is kind of number one, and then we're probably going to have a list of ten. To narrow that down to a yeah. top five. We'll have some wild cards. We'll throw out some... But uh, I don't know who won last game. Last game Me and we... you tied. What the hell was the game last week? Yeah. Well, we did both play Emily is away. You guys both oh, right. lost that. We both lost, so why don't you lead us off? All right. We both lost that one. All right. Top, 10 com- top five comedians alive right now. I'm going to toss out... Anthony Jeselnik is my number one. He is my, he's my big hitter. I'm going to start out with him. He's my favorite comedian right now. He is not for everybody. Nope, he's definitely not for everybody. Uh, he enjoys dead baby jokes. <laughs> uh, he enjoys all sorts of demeaning jokes. Yeah. Uh, he is, uh, but he is so pungent. His stage presence is fucking commanding. He, what was that he podcast be, that he does that he showed me? Uh, he is, does a podcast called Anthony Jeselnik Rosenthal Vanity Project, JRVP. That's uh, a fucking long-ass name. <laughs> almost, almost, unnecessarily Almost long. as bad as our name. Um, you know what? With that one, he's not, I, he won't end up number one on the list, but I, I add him on my list. He, uh, 
He his dead his hand. Last... Hey dad, if you're watching and you don't know who Anthony Jeselnik is, think Stephen Wright. Do you guys remember Stephen Wright? Oh yeah. But he just is mean. <laughs> like, he just mean. Yeah, he's like he's uh, just crude. He's a crude Stephen Wright. And, like, he picks people apart. Mm -hmm. uh, no filter. He's making like Eric Clapton like dead baby jokes. He's, he's yeah. a comedian that is yeah. That. If somebody like a yeah. celebrity does die, people like go to him and be like, all right, what is Jessel like? What joke is Jessel like gonna throw out there? As far as the but it's always he's so fucking smart. Yeah. His punchlines, his setups, his jokes yeah. are so well crafted. Um, that's my number one pick. As far as the debate on that goes, I'll let him. I'll allow him there for now. Like, Go I won't see push back. Fire in a Maternity Ward on Netflix. Uh, Caligula on Netflix, I think, are his two specials. I think he almost got like a couple magazines were nominated in a special for Special of the Year. Yeah. All right. Um, Eric, I'll let you go because you you have finished last in every challenge, but we tied for last <laughs> last week, so. I'm trying to decide out of this list here. Well, throw someone out there. Throw that... someone that you definitely want on the list. Doug Benson. Doug Benson. Doug Benson. Ooh. Ooh. What? Give, a, give us the argument. Uh, what was wrong with Doug Benson? He's okay. Give us the argument. Okay. He's, He's okay. Uh, just like a funny, stupid stoner fad like idiot. I don't even like, consider him a stand up comedian. That's what he. That's like his job. That's yeah, like, he hosts a lot of things, yeah. like Getting Doug with High. What you Have you ever seen his like, stand up? Like, uh, what the hell is it? Doug Dynasty on Netflix. That one was fucking funny. He just like interacts with the crowd. He's just like a fat. He's always like, hey, everybody. He's just always so high. And Doug Benson is known for being a stoner comedian. He is. He goes to basically every Morgan Spurlock documentary. He spoofs it. He does a spoof oh. marijuana. He did the, the Super High Me. Super yeah. High Me is his kind of claim to fame. So we can't really argue the first five, but... Do you think he would you put him above Jesselnik? So that's the only debate right now because he's so early. I can't ha not have him on the personally. List yeah, like but the, I've honestly never like, I've just, like I've only seen him. All right, all right, let's go fuck this. <laughs> I, knew it. I didn't think he, I didn't think first comedian you'd come out with Doug Benson. Well, I don't know. I'm just he's, he's keeping it odd. He's mixing it up. I know. I'm, I'm just trying. Like I'm actually yeah, just throwing some like low balls here. Yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm saving the up. big. I'm saving the big boys right, for right. when I want to actually like debate. Strategy, strategy. Yeah. strategy. Yeah. Yeah. I'll we'll throw out the best one for right, right. So right now, Jeselnik one, Benson two. All right. Um. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock Benson down real quick. Bill Burr. I can bring up. I'll yeah. Make a chart I knew that was gonna get brought up. <laughs> Bill, Bill Burr. He I just feel like he's like the new us. like uh like Dane Cook. Like he's like the no like he's like not like not in like. That sense, like he's like a like the popular comedian right now that everyone kind of knows, and like yeah, well, if you were to go up to anybody and be like, "What was your favorite comedian?" Be like ninety percent of them would just say Bill Burr because that's like the first thing. Yeah, but Bill Burr, ahead. Bill Burr's first stand-up special I watched is like two thousand seven, so that's like thirteen years ago. Bill Burr has like six really good stand-up specials. Bill Burr does like a special a year, and all of them are fuck. His material is good. Yeah, he has. It, honestly, if you don't know Bill Burr, you should. But his whole shtick is. I guarantee everyone knows who that person yeah. is. Yeah. And he's got that know. F is for Family show. Yeah, yeah. he's just like a popular. He, but guy right yeah, now. his whole shtick. He's he's just an angry old ginger white dude. Well, he's from, now. from Boston. But, like he's just got yeah, a thick Boston. He's accent. got that. He's got that Boston vibe. Uh, my favorite thing of Bill Burr is when he's on, um, late night talk shows, and basically, there's like a moment every time when he loses the audience. <laughs> he'll, he'll, yeah. he'll just oh. go on a rant, and yeah. he'll just say something that then the audience goes silent on, and then he'll always just call him out, just being like, you were with me two minutes ago, and now you're not with yeah. me, you're not laughing anymore. Yeah, if you have time, yeah, Eric, that. check out his Philadelphia rant, too, um, Philly notoriously bad crowd. They I've seen that. His rant where yeah. he loses it on the crowd. Yeah. So good. But uh, yeah, no, Bill Burr. So let's debate spot on the list. I would have him number one over both of your guys. Personally, let's hear some pushback, some arguments. Let's, I'll let's... put him number one. I'll put him over Jesselnick, to be honest. No, oh, no. Can I say that? Ugh. Fuck. Yeah. yeah. I'll like go, go, go Bill Burr number one. Work, yeah. too. He. Like, for how much he does and the quality of it, whereas yeah. Jesselnik is like every five years, yeah, he'll put something out. Bill Burr is a goddamn stand-up. So is, this, is the concept of this that we're just gonna put out? We're just every week we're gonna, or each time we do this, we're gonna put out a different comedian, and then we're just gonna like till. The yeah, we're gonna redo this list until we are out of names we want to get, want to throw us. Okay. Well, I was gonna say like we each only get like three names to put in, or like four. Um, yeah, we. Because uh, then the list gets. 
I know. That's so... But uh, so far, all right, Bill Burr, Anthony Jeselnik, and Doug Benson, yep. who's not going to make the top five. He's not. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm just... It's a wild card. So yeah, you yeah, throw, yeah. I have, I have yeah. guys, my next guy, and I'll throw a couple on the, the list that I don't think will make it, but... Um, yeah, so we're back to... You got to throw the... some pawns before you throw out the queen, bro. Oh. <laughs> oh. Chess reference. Is that wisdom? I don't know. <laughs> or just common sense? I don't, I'm um, not going to chess. All right, my nominee, second nominee... No, we're, gonna doing, be... we're doing much more tonight? No, yeah, we're just doing this tonight. Oh, I thought we were doing like, we're doing like over time. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> no, no, no. All right, all right, yeah. right. I got you. No, I'm good. That's I'm good to go. Of, that's what this show is. So we planned this show about 10 minutes before it aired. Yeah, right? and like, mind you, I'm... And Eric wasn't paying attention. I don't attention. really pay attention much. I just sit here and Eric just pretty. promotes on social media, so he's doing a service to the team. He is. But, yeah. uh, who, who do you have for this? All right, this? I'm putting on... John Mulaney. Nominating John oh, Mulaney. Uh, basically, this Jenner, well, today is Seinfeld. He's a good old clean com- comedian coming as a writer from SNL. Yeah. Wrote every Stefan was bit he? with Bill Hader. Yeah. Uh, oh, I don't know that. Yeah, he was like a head writer at SNL for a bit. Well, shit. Uh, but then he got his own, like, just basically knockoff Seinfeld TV show that got canceled after, like, four episodes. What show was that? It was called Mulaney. It's called Mulaney. Oh. And it was basically just <laughs> Seinfeld. It didn't go well, but have it you seen his... Well. Have you seen his... But children's? his stand-up. Yeah. Oh. Have you seen the children's the special The Sack Lunch Netflix? Bunch is... I, Amazing. I thought it was... I, I thought the skits were funny, but the kids were... Perfect. When they're talking about their Why fears Eric and death. Why Eric doesn't like kids unless they're, like, uh, hit from the kids. <laughs> yeah, even then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, even, even then. Even then. Eric, no, um, Eric likes one kid. They're just, I don't know, some of the songs were just kind of dumb, like that Butter and Noodles song. I loved that song. If you've been a I server... Think I, was, I think I was just really hungover and just like in a shit mood when I watched uh, it. Maybe if I, was in a better pl- if I was in a better place in my life, and then I watched it, I'd be like, this is kind of cute. If you've ever been a server and you you will come across a kid who only wants plain yeah. noodles with butter. Side note, uh, that song I know, spoke to me. I know this isn't a main thing we should do, but... Jarek, just plug us into the speakers. She's at a concert and listening. Plug us into the speakers so the whole concert can hear us. That'll Appreciate w- it. That'll work. Just, that'll work. just Bluetooth. Is that that's Bluetooth how, con- that's that's how concert works. That's how Jalen's worth watching. Yeah, I'm at a concert and All listening right. to this. Yeah. Must be a shit concert if you're listening <laughs> to us. Yeah, she's a loyal, loyal fan. Um, okay. John Mulaney. Mulaney. He, he's craft his characters. He doesn't really do characters. But he, he'll get into it. His voice. Like, he does his, the voice He does thing. very, very long stories. Yeah. And uh, he's hosting SNL in a couple weeks. Shout out to that. Uh, where do you put him? What do you guys think of him? I put him two on our list so far. I have Mulaney on my list, man. On our list so far, I have him two. What about you, Eric? Uh, yeah, I'd go Bill Burr, Mulaney, Justin Nick, and then Doug, I guess. Doug Benson. All right, he keeps dropping lower and lower, like we all <laughs> predicted. But Eric, it's Sorry, your. Right. Eric threw in a wild card Eric, off the hop. Eric threw. I don't know if you're gonna suggestion. know my next guy. Am I, I know three that you guys aren't gonna agree with, so we'll get there. He just went off the hop. If we don't know him, he's in trouble, Eric. But you are up. Nate Bargatze. I love Nate Bargatze. Nice. Love Nate. Fuck yeah. I can say I don't know. I'm Hi. actually embarrassed he's not on my list. Man, he, he's got his, I'm going to make you watch his Netflix special. It's fucking Tennessee hilarious. Kid. Yeah, man. Tennessee Kid. I'd put it, honestly, like, if this was my list, I'd put him probably, like, I'd, personally, I'd put him above Bill Burr. He's my, he's oh. my, he's, oh. he's my go-to here, but he's really good. you guys are throwing out some big guns, so I thought I'd throw one out there, too. Yeah, I like Nate I, a lot. Check out his special, Tennessee Kid. He's also, what's that, like, stand-up mm-hmm. show they have on Netflix with the comedians? Do you guys remember what that's called, where they have a different comedian each episode? Oh, yeah. Yeah, his is good. What the hell his is that shit really called? That. I can't remember. Um, but, uh, Nate, uh, Nate Bargatze is, there he is. Um, hey, yeah. throw, throw a picture up for the people to see. Yeah, if you don't know who Nate is, this is one guy you do 100% need to check out. Above Bill is crazy. Um, I've never heard of him, so he's not. He's below Doug Benson as far as I'm concerned. Um, he is, I would put him on par with Jesselneck. I, I Honestly, I'd put him above Jesselneck. I know, on par. So we'll go to, you'd have him one. I would, on the current list, I would have him three. 
you wouldn't have them on the list. So here, here's our first. Yeah, we gotta figure out a way to like and you gotta average vote. this out. If you guys keep voting, you. All right. Um, so what's the, we'll get the list here. What is it? Nate Bargatze. Yeah. Bargatze. B A R G A T Z E. Yeah. Who else did we have? I feel we're missing somebody. No, well, that's you didn't name. No, you you, you didn't have, name your third one yet. You just have Doug in the wrong order. I haven't named my right. second one yet. All right. Who thinks he's funnier than Doug Benson? Yeah, Anthony's above Doug anyways. And well, he I'll had, change it after yeah, this. But yeah, one hundred percent. One hundred percent. All right. Yeah. Next question. Do you both think he's funnier than John Mulaney? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, no, not as funny as John Mulaney. All right. So then he's third. Third. Okay. Nate moves to three. Nice. All right. Nice. I'm a, I'm going to throw out a wild card it's for you, Eric. It's Dane's turn. No, it's not. Didn't. Dane started. No, yeah, oh, alright, he's a bit. He, sorry, sorry. Way. Go on. Uh, I'm going to throw out a wild card for you, Eric, where one, he might not even make the list. Because this is this is where they cannot make the list. I'm going to throw out Bo Burnham. He was going to be on my list. <laughs> I'm going to throw out Bo Burnham. Uh, he has three total stand-up specials, two on Netflix, What and uh, Make Happy. Make Happy. Uh, he is not for everybody. And if you only want to he's too damn smart. He's so smart. And he's a musical comedian and a poetic comedian and a regular comedian. He has a, what, a Screen Writers Guild Award because he wrote 8th grade, if anyone's seen that. That was a good movie. Yeah, but if you want to check out his stand-up, his closing numbers, you might not think they're funny, but visually they'll be the best, most creative thing you've ever seen on a stand-up special. You can listen to one song of his five, six times, and you'll find a new joke in it every time, every time. listening to it. There are double entendres almost in every line. He has a his, poetry book. I have it in my room. It's called Egghead. His singing's not the best, but that doesn't really matter. He does... He, what he puts forth in his specials are unlike any other special. Uh, they're unique. I mean, the last one when he just like calls out the audience and like says that... like. He basically hates being a stand-up and being a public figure, but he enjoys making other people happy. Well, and he hasn't done a stand-up since. No, well, now he's... Know, he's, know. he's a director now. He's a director. He has a new film coming out. Uh, it's in Sundance right now. I think it just got bought. Um, he... He's niche. Honestly, he'd be my, like, number one, number two. Oh. All right. Um, Eric, any thoughts on, do you, are you a fan of, like, I know yeah. Bo Burnham since high school, like, I watched yeah. his Bo for show, yeah. his viral videos, like, he's old school YouTube. Yeah, 3614. It was just five. like, <laughs> there was too much creativity in that man to, for YouTube to contain. Yeah, 3.14 Apple Pie, you remember that high school rap he did? Uh, oh, like, he, had, he had, like, a YouTube channel. First song that blew up, he hates it now, because it's not, uh, it's not friendly anymore but it was called my whole family thinks i'm gay um that was his very first and it's so it does mine it was very <laughs> it was very clever i would put him above nate if i was putting well, him on this list here's a voting again all right who thinks he's funnier than doug benson i do who thinks he's funnier than anthony jesselneck mm, this is fucking yeah this is, a, <laughs> this is a, who thinks he's funnier than nate bargatze mm. You don't? No. No. Who thinks he's funnier than John Mulaney? Mm. No. 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 I put him I put him All between right. Nate and Anthony. So he's third. Yeah, sorry. You lost on Nate there. I love Nate. I love our list so far. You would think that there's not 10 million stand-up comedians by our list, because I'm pretty happy with it so far. It's a pretty uh, new generational list. Um, so it's now a, it's a it handsome is... list. All right. Doug has fallen. Now it is... Um, your go, Dane. I'm going to throw out... Bo's taken. I already got him. Do I throw out another big hitter? Do I throw out Louis C.K.? Do yeah, we battle do. that? No. Yeah, you do. I mean, he hasn't done anything in forever. It's a, well, because he got he's busted. List. Because he got like, exactly. called out for jerking off he put out of people. An, he put out a special in 2017. That's the last time I'm going to get... I'm throwing out for my pick so that I have credit on it, I'm throwing out Dave Chappelle. Okay, well... Big boy himself. Going going hot, hard. <sighs> hard I mean, Dave. We, if, if he was not on this list, I think we'd all be ashamed. Yeah. And we'd all have to commit seppuku yeah. in front of ourselves. Oh. Uh, he's Dave Chappelle. He's Dave Chappelle. He, he started is. the Chappelle show. 
greatest sketch comedy show of all time. He Don't just, at me. He just won the Mark Twain he award. Did. Great, great for show. His just writing, I guess. Yeah, it's and comedy. Mark Twain and comedy award. He is so fucking good at his craft. And he's just so fucking cool. Amazing. He is... I'd just watch him smoke a cigarette. Yeah. And I'd be happy. I'd yeah, he's always hacking darts on as stage. As far as... Uh, I'll I'd say laugh. this. Dave Chappelle is the greatest comedian of all time. That's where he's at on my list. Uh, he is number one. Is it hot as shit in here? Am I just... It is very hot in here. Warm? It's because we got two lights right on our face. Too. Yeah, and the and window isn't cracked. Yeah. I'm just a sweaty mess. <sighs> and I'm down to like the shitty part of my bag of candy where it's like all the stuff that I don't like. <laughs> Got the weak part of the bag left. Oh, there's the bones. Chappelle. Those suck. Eric, where, where, would, you, where would you put Chappelle? I mean, I think it's pretty obvious where he's going to go. I think so too, nah. but where would you, Eric, on this list, where would you put him? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's... Very good question. I don't know, I'd probably put him number one. You're just like, who's Dave Chappelle? Yeah. <laughs> Dave Chappelle? Question mark? Is he uh, going number one? He's number Does anybody one. have he's number a problem one. with that? That was the list buster right there. I mean, that was the list let's buster. get it out of the way. Yeah. So, Eric. Uh, oh, you guys, know, you guys want to know a fun fact about Dave Chappelle? Always. He, he was the second, or he was, it was between him and the other guy to play uh, uh, Bubba in Forrest Gump. He was the original choice. Really? Yeah. Huh. He also hates half baked. Yeah, movie. well, because him and him and Neil Brennan wrote that movie yeah. in like one one like night. Well, no, and then it's in one of his stand up specials. Is there two like, P's or two L's? Like, How do you spell Chappelle? Yeah, close yeah, enough. Yeah, that's Nobody right. Did. You got it. I don't think it was two L's. What the hell's Dave Chappelle? <laughs> <laughs> Who's Dave Chappell? <laughs> what were you? What were you saying? Um. Well, he in one of his stand-up specials, he talks about it, and he's like, "We came up with this weed movie out of nowhere. People asked me about an idea. He's like, we thought we made a pretty cool movie, and then the network edited it, and they made a weed movie for kids, and he hates that. He hates that movie. Uh, when I was twelve, I loved that movie. I thought it was so funny. I did. I hadn't smoked weed yet. Uh, I, I've never smoked weed, but I hadn't smoked weed yet, and uh, he hated it. Hated everything about it." Yeah, I remember renting that when I was like, however old you are in grade 7. I remember renting it in grade 7. Like, Man, smoking weed's so rad. Right near the beach. Um, That's yeah. funny, right? That was still relevant. That was yeah. the bracket buster. <laughs> with the clear number one seed, Dane. I get points for that, right? We're playing for points? Oh, like, we're playing for oh, points. Oh, we're playing for points? <laughs> yeah. Fuck it. Like, I'm not throwing out the rest I'll of I'll just mine. throw out the big guns right off the top. That's good. Okay, um, it was <laughs> my turn now? Yeah. Dane Cook? No, I take it back. <laughs> yeah, please take it back. Oof. I mean, with Tosh. You guys ever seen Tosh's stand up? I saw him live with an ex girlfriend in Winnipeg. Um, I never enjoyed Tosh. I think Tosh is funny. I would put him in my top 15 for show. Top 15? <laughs> for show, top, top 15. 15. Shit is cute. I, I put Tosh over Doug Benson. Oh, look at the camera. <laughs> Classic <laughs> Eric with this. Sorry, I have long line. legs. Tell me when this is good. It's good? It's good. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that. Technically, I would put him. I would put Tosh above Doug Benson. He'd, What's his name? Daniel, Daniel Tosh. Tosh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> just, uh, just offended. Know. Just like offended. I just like. I just know him as Tosh. Point. Tosh Point oh, and you got to give him points for Tosh. I was gonna say like even just him on Tosh Point is fucking hilarious. He's been doing that for how long? Like since two thousand thirty-five years. Since two thousand nine. What's his current fashion choice on it? Did he go back to sweaters again? I don't know. I'm not that up to date. He had a scarf here. He found his audience. He found what works. Props yeah. on him for that. Well, yeah. then they made that asshole like rip off of it. That fucking ridiculousness show. If anything, I've seen that's like, like a shittier Anthony Jeselnik where he does like try to rag on people and be that asshole type, but yeah. he's like not clever enough to be an asshole. I just like how he fucks with his writers he, in every episode. He's more like, observational though than like punchline humor, like Jeselnik. But for this list, I would put him above Doug Benson and no one else. For me, that's true. Jeez, I'm just getting lowballed here. I can't believe fuck Anthony Justin. All right, sure. um, yeah, I'm only gonna put him. I'm not even gonna put him above Doug. So, do you put him above Doug? Is he better or worse than Doug? I don't know why I said Doug. <laughs> I, <was, laughs> I, I, I didn't really, I didn't really get the concept of this game. So I didn't really put too much thought into it. I don't know. Put him at the fucking bottom. I don't care. My choices are all fucking garbage. Right. Well, it's you. not like these are bad comedians. I think I'm picking. If like, it's you, th- if you think they're the best, it's your opinion. You just have a shitty opinion. I have him above. 
He has him below. Do you think he's better or worse than Ben? This is such a douchey game. Like, well, yeah, well, that's your opinion, so if you don't like it. <laughs> and if you don't like it, then well, you're dumb. So top, that's the whole point. Five list. Top five. <laughs> that's the whole <laughs> point. <laughs> list. But do you, do you like him more or less than Ben? Yeah, so that people can get mad at us. Yeah. Disagree. So are you asking me? What you're asking me is if you I was like in, him more. No, or less this is what you're asking me. If I was in a room with Doug Benson and Daniel Tosh, and they're yeah. both gagged and beaten, and I had a gun in my hand. And oh, I, I thought you were gonna say which one would you jerk off? Either way, jerk no, off. Has jerk two off. Hands. Hands. That's not fair. Dave Chappelle, Daniel Tosh, and Doug Benson. I have to jerk. No. You can only jerk off two of them. And the other one dies. Sorry, <laughs> what was the question? <laughs> 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 so I'm in a, who you're in a room with Doug Benson and Daniel Tosh, and I have to jerk off one, and the other one dies. Who do you pick? Who do you pick? Ooh, that's a doozy. But now I'm going off like looks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go off, go off of who. who it got... looks obviously Tosh because Doug Benson is the okay. big fat loser. <laughs> All right, one of them has to make you laugh or you die. Who makes you laugh? Who do you choose to tell you a joke? He has to make me laugh. Yeah. Or, or he dies. No, or I die. you die. Everybody dies. Everybody dies. You can save the world with one opinion. Mm, I'd probably go. Doug Benson. Okay, so Tosh is eight. All right. We should, I like, have... send, we should send this to, to like all the comedians. Yeah. Like, <laughs> this is what we think. So this yeah. is what we think of your established career as we talked to like five people. Okay, here's a here's a doozy. If you had to jerk off any of these guys, <laughs> which one would you whack off? Or if you had to even or you just make out with one of these guys. Like, are they taking me out to dinner first? Yeah, they're gonna take you out for dinner. Like wine and dine. So you get a whole combo with them. You're going to go see a romantic comedy. It's going to be all cute and flirty, and you're going to be like walking downtown with them, and they'll take you to like some fancy place, and you guys will have like those really expensive cocktails. Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. at the end of the night, he'll drop you off, and it'll be all cute, and then you guys got to make up for like 10 minutes. Oh. oh. <laughs> so you either go with the one that you want it's to spend John most time with. It, it is. It's John Mulaney. It's John Mulaney. John Mulaney. He's yeah. a gentleman. He's a gentleman. He, he, he dresses. He dresses. He's got the, he dresses he's nice. got the softest looking face. He's he's feminine. You can <laughs> yeah. He's a he's a feminine looking guy. He's, All right. He's a twink. Th- things got pretty gay. Okay. In this so uh, uh, <laughs> my pick. Wait. So yeah, this is the list of top ten comedians we jerk off. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So my pick. Are, is this is this gonna be the last pick, or are we gonna do one more round? Uh, we'll do. Let's this do round more. is wild card round. Wild card round. What does that mean? So, like, is this the last round, or do you just somebody rounds? that you like don't even think would make a top five list, even though Eric's basically been doing that? <laughs> but somebody that you're like, all three of mine. I should have planned this better. Or you don't um, have to. I don't know. I'm just making rules on the fly. Yeah, I'm just saying. If this is my last round, I'm gonna pick strategically. To no, because what one. we've only done three each. Yeah, this will be my third. We'll do one more each, one and more then we'll kind of debate one? these. We'll maybe jumble okay. them around a little bit, have a little final say. Sounds good. Okay, so we're at like mine, minutes all right, I'll throw a big wild card <laughs> really? in for, for my second last Jesus. pick. <laughs> second last pick, Mike Brigbilia. Mike Brigbilia. Do you guys know I Mike? I don't think you're saying his name right. Yeah. Yeah. Berbaglia. 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 I know who you're talking Berbaglia. about. I know who you're talking He's about. He's like the... He's a storyteller. He tells long... He looks like a like sad a guy. Wife. It's like a one Wasn't he on show. Uh, Trainwreck? Yeah, yeah, that guy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, have you guys watched his stand-up specials? He just put one out, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't watch it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this one here. The... the I can't fucking... He's got <laughs> uh, But, uh, So this guy, I can't... I don't think this guy's gonna move far up the list for you guys. There's but, a lot of comedians right now that I'm thinking of who are like, why haven't we even talked about... But we'll get it. This guy is the best one-man show. Maybe behind Bo Burnham, I was but <laughs> but Bo's Bo's shows don't link the whole time. His show from the first joke, got it. literally from the first joke, winds into the end, and it's a story about his life. They're one man shows. If you have time to watch one, watch one. It, he is very very smart. He brings things around. He has three specials. All three of them are one long story with stories inside of them. Essentially, that comes back to the full point, and you usually learn something. Um, so I would put Mike, I'll throw him out there. Yeah, I don't know if he'd make my top five on here, but I'm throwing him out what there. What a stupid last name, Berbiglia. <laughs> like, he probably got his ass kicked so much. He should have changed that My name last name is Cougar. Yes. So I don't... Yeah, I, I guess so. My last All right, so we got... Reason. A little recap here. Dave Chappelle, Phil Burr, John Mulaney, Bo Burnham, Nate Bargatze are our top five. Rounding out, we got Anthony Jelsonek, Doug Benson... And Who's, Daniel Tosh. And now, all right, we're going to throw Mike Berbiglia somewhere I put him next. above Tosh and Benson, personally. 
Uh, that's as high as he goes, so he only makes it to seven for me on this But you list. just wanted to get him out there. I wanted to get him out there because, honestly, if we have three people watching, go watch one of his specials. I don't think he's funnier than Doug Benson. I'd agree with that. I'd put him between Tosh and Doug Benson. All right. I'm going to accept it because you guys haven't watched his special yet. <laughs> I've seen his shit before. He's, like, kind of funny, yeah. <laughs> he's smart. He's smart. Daniel, you'll like him. All right. Mike Burr. Big, 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 just big, 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 big Bird Liars. Mike okay. Burr, Big Dick. Yeah. Okay. All right. Last round. Go ahead, Dane. All right. This is my last pick. Yeah. All right. Before we do that, or I guess we'll do that at the end when I know some of your answers. But there's a lot of comedians that I'm yeah. like, we haven't even mentioned some I know. I got, I got two left. All right. Hopefully you say one. Um, I feel like this list should have a woman in it. Not <laughs> stand-up comedian woman? Is that a thing? Yeah. We watch a stand-up I don't know. Comedians. And all our audience. And we're canceled. <laughs> uh... Mm. Well, there's a couple. You there's want a couple. if if you don't nominate, how about if do you? There's actually lots that I can. Do you think wait? Of. Do you have a woman in mind, or do you have a woman in mind, or do I? Because I don't. But we can I shout mean, out I, some. I funny could ones. shout out Ali Wong on there. Ali I've Wong is very very funny. I'm not gonna fight for. Her. No, I'm just saying. Let's shout out some. Um, I'm a big fan of uh, Sarah Silverman. I am big fan of Sarah Silverman. Her stand up is. Smart and self-deprecating and funny. I think Amy Schumer is really original. I think <laughs> Amy, uh, she I, writes a lot of her own stuff. Yeah. No, she would, what's that chick who was married to Jordan Peele? Well, the thing with Amy, too, all. like just her last special was disappointing. Or else she probably would have made my top ten. Um, her, I hate Amy Schumer. <laughs> yeah, Amy Schumer sucks. <laughs> uh, dude, uh, honestly, pre-train wreck, Amy Schumer was pretty fun. Uh, All right, let's throw funny. another big dog out there. Are we doing like chicks Chris or are we Rock? just doing whatever? We're doing whatever. We're doing your choice. Yeah. We can be canceled. It's fine. Yeah, it Write in the female you think is funnier than people on this list, guys. Hashtag me too. Hashtag me too. <laughs> Hashtag we're sorry. Uh, you can see why I voted for Anthony Justin at first. <laughs> All right. Chris Rock, do I throw him out there? No. Oh. No. <laughs> you're, oh. Just, you're just teasing. Oh. Like You're teasing good names. Um, somebody who I'm gonna fight for. Go back to the tease. You're not gonna fight me. Do I fight for him? There's two big comedians. Both are kind of very similar. But who do I give it to? I'm gonna give it to. Fuck. Tom Segura. Oh, oh that's a great yeah. one. Oh, okay. I didn't, think of him. I didn't yeah. even think of Tom. Oh no. This big boy Tom. The shirtless man himself. No, that's Brett. Or that's Brett. That's Brett Kaiser. See, so do you want Brett Kaiser see, or Tom no, Segura? See, it's Bert Kaiser. Bert. Bert. I was. Bert I was thinking of both of them, and then I was. They're like the same person. As I was thinking in my head, I was like, the first one that actually his name comes to my head first is who I'm going to say, and it was Tom Segura. Tom Segura is very funny. Uh, I actually do think he's funnier than very. Bert. He is. Funnier uh, than Bert. he's got that like sad, sad fat guy thing going like he, for him, yeah. where he's just like. He makes you want to laugh at him, and he's okay with that. Yeah, he doesn't have that, like, the machine story that, you know, Bert has oh, a story that everyone knows. What a knows, fucking but... guy, man. That that guy, like... He made his life on that story. I know, but, like, he tells that story every fucking time. I heard him because on... Because people want to hear it. People want to hear it. I know, but when he was in Calgary, he told it on the radio, and it's like, man... If, he like... Won, if you won the Super Bowl, would people want to hear about the time you lost in the wild card round? That is his story, but Tom is funnier than him. Yeah, but it's just like, I don't know, it was funny the first 50 times I heard it, but now it's like, man, like, come yeah. on. Um, his podcast is funny, but it's way too long. Him Their dance-off against each other is yeah. YouTube gold. Yeah, it is. Who is that? Uh, Tom and, Tom and his Bert. Bert they have, they've done, like, viral dance videos against each other. Mm. Tom Segura is hilarious. He has, what, three specials on Netflix? Two? <sighs> Numerous, at least. Numerous? Uh, oh, Chelsea guy. Peretti. That's the one I was thinking of. Yeah, she is very funny. Chelsea Peretti oh, is... Oh, my sister wrote definitely. that because my sister is Chelsea Peretti. That's why. She's funny? You have a sister? Yeah, the sister, <laughs> and she's funny. Well, and she just... She looked like Chelsea Peretti? No, she imitates her on Brooklyn Nine-Nine so well that it's kind of disturbing. Um, anyway, Tom, Tom Segura. Tom Segura. On the vote. 
Who says he's oh, funnier he's than... He's going to be up there. I, I totally forgot about yeah. him. Yeah. All right. Okay, can I go? Can I go first? Can I go first, please? Well, where do you... I'm putting him at least... I think he's funnier than... I'm going to put him at spot number five between Bo and Nate. Psh. Do you guys think he's higher or lower than Oh, Bo? I think he's... I think he's funnier right. than Bo. So do you guys I, I think he's, he's higher than Bo. He's higher than yeah. Bo. For I think he's higher. Do you than... guys vote that he's higher than John Mulaney? Yes. No. All right. So then he's four. He's four. All right. That's a, Tom, how did we miss Tom? Tom was on my list, and I'm embarrassed. I literally wrote his. If name I would have time to prep for this, I could have actually like put some time into well, it. Yeah. <laughs> well, she didn't come off. If you didn't think of him right away, then fuck you. Yeah, that was a good pick, um, Eric. Your choice now. Or your last pick. For this list. I'm going to go Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan is funny. Your picks are blowing my mind. He's funny. Why? What would you think? What do you, I don't know. Where, like, you think none, of them are, none of your picks I see as, like, stand-up comedians. Like, I see Joe as Daniel a Tosh, like, hosts a TV show. Like, Anthony, <laughs> like, Joe Rogan, <laughs> like, does big, his podcast. He's a big movie TV uh, guy. That's fair. Nate Bregazzi seems like he does only stand-up. But I don't know. All your other people, like, seem like they're, like, stand-up second comedians first which i guess is fine it's yeah well and what's funny is i have two names left so, so i'm gonna be angry when one of them aren't even right. on our list sorry i cut you off talk yeah. about him though. no i don't want to talk about him <laughs> just being dicks yeah, no i dicks. like rogue hey i got rogue i think he's funny yeah it's just i i'm saying i'm surprised that those are the new pages. eric i'm with you he's funnier like than i don't you list. don't even listen to the joe rogan podcast do you they do okay <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? He's wearing a Joe Rogan t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> a Joe Rogan tattoo. How long have you been listening to Joe Rogan without me knowing? You've been doing this behind like, my back? Like hours. Maybe even a day or two. Um, so where do we put him? That's really where it is. But talk about Rogan. I have him higher than people on your list. He's my, he might be my second favorite pick you've done, man. Who? Joe Rogan. You guys are fans, eh? I am. I'm a fan. I don't know. He's has actually... he done a special one? Enough. No, I never he's, yeah, he's, years? He's, so he's done two in the last three years so, on Netflix. He has two specials on Netflix. On this list, I'd and probably put him... I remember fuck, actually I listening low, to actually. his... His last special was like surprising me, like, where I was like, yeah, I don't think I'm going to find it that funny, but he crafts jokes pretty well. He's a smart guy. He's been in it for a long time. Fear Factor, baby. Fuck yeah, man. Fear Factor? That was my shit back yeah, in the day. So people. where... Do, you're leading off with America. Where Didn't you they like, try to remake list? Fear Factor just recently? And yeah, fucking yeah it all. I can't remember who posted. Eric, maybe. where do you put him? Is he funnier than? Let's go from the bottom. Well, let's all vote from the bottom. Okay. So, Jesus, right. to be honest, I think I'd put him like. <laughs> I'd probably put him between Mike and Doug. <laughs> <laughs> um, where would you put him? Um, I'd put him above Doug, between Anthony and Doug. Eric, yeah. you tell the same story fifty times. <laughs> Did I what? I don't, I don't know what story. You, you, they're just saying you tell stories over and over, and then you get mad at Bert Kreischer for telling the machine story. Oh, and, yeah. who said that? <laughs> oh, Kelsey, yeah. fuck off. <laughs> Very true though. Mm. So you would put him above Doug. I would put him above Doug. I'm gonna put a little asterisk because I, I don't think he's better than Mike but I, I put him above Doug so I think that's where he ends up that's how the that's how the voting goes yeah. alright Joe Rogan alright so I have the last one and I have yeah. two comedians this is this is the worst just pick the one that you'd if you had to pick between or if you pick the one that you'd rather make out with oh well that's easy that's <laughs> the one guy is not a make out guy one guy the one guy is controversial yeah, one guy, you one guy you just one guy you just fuck you don't make out with him so, okay, so I'm, we're going to hold him off this list because we already got canceled for no females, but I, honestly, Louis C.K. is one of the five great, greatest comedians Ooh. alive. Uh, he is. I'm sorry. I know he asked permission to jerk off in front of some girls. Um, but he asked they, permission. Like, yeah. You got to give him credit for that. Yeah. Um, and then we're canceled again. But, so the comedian I'll go with so we can save some face, Chris D'Elia. Oh, fuck. I am a big fan of Chris. See, he's the guy I wouldn't really picture as, like, a stand. Like, now he does, like, his podcasting, like, acts and shit. Like, he's, I don't know. He, uh... He tells jokes? Yeah, he has th <laughs> two specials on Netflix. I just watched him on, uh, he's, he in, he's on that episode of Workaholics where he plays the pedophile. Yeah. I was just watching that the yeah, other day. And then he just, well, he was just a He's on the new season of You, I guess. As a pedophile, too. <laughs> Yeah, he, so, he's just he's a pedophile. He's just, uh, he's a pedophile. Yeah, he talked about it a little time. Um, 
he Red flag. is the most physical comedian on this list. He's Justin Bieber's favorite comedian. He's Justin Bieber's. That, that gives him extra points. Yeah, extra points. Uh, you guys might not agree, but you're wrong. He needs to be above... He needs to be above... Mm, I'd have him tied with Jessel Mc... I don't, actually, no. I'd have him number six on this list. I don't have him above Nate. Above Nate for me. Mm. a kid. I'd probably go below that. I'd probably yeah. go even below with Jesselnick. Who the hell is at the, even at the bottom? Who are these bottom scrapers right. that I fucking threw out here? <laughs> <laughs> I'd, put, um, I'd put them up between I'd, these two. Boy, I don't know, man. I'd rather watch Doug Benson than fucking Chris Yeah, Tate actually, either. I would too. Oh, you guys are you guys are wrong. <laughs> you guys are just wrong, but that's the way the cookie is. Yeah, I'm getting thrown in the bus. Suck it. Wait, hold on. We gotta Suck have it, Claire. Show, though. I had him so high. <laughs> no, I understand. Okay. Wait, not what the hell are you typing in? I don't know. <laughs> I, I just seen his name since I started typing. So Chris, yeah. Chris, doesn't it spell it stupid? Yeah, there you go. Delia. So that's it for this list? This is that this. is it. So now we're going to kind of argue and... Yeah, let's just take a quick look and see if we want to fight for anyone. So we have our top 12, basically, then. We'll make Chris his name the same I class. thought I did. <laughs> he deserves that, at least. Alright, so. Alright, so starting at the bottom, we got Daniel Tosh. Yeah, he stays at the bottom. Oh, Alright, he's just staying small. Fuck you. Uh, we got Mike Birbiglia. I didn't say his <laughs> Birbiglia. Uh, Chris, Chris I hate that name. Stanish. Doug Benson, Joe Rogan, Anthony Jeselnik, Nate Bargatze. Look how you fucking spelled his name, Birgilia. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so is there any anyone you guys want to fight for? I would fight for Anthony oh, Justin like to be higher. Like I, yeah. here, honestly, a, he's like my number one comedian, so it hurts me to see him at number seven. But and you, put, you put, five. I know, you, I know. Everyone above you put above except for me. I know. Well, it's, I like this list. This is a decent looking list. It's surprisingly good. Again, we're missing like some people that we missed. Chris Rock, yeah. obviously, big hitter. Louis C.K. He's seen his top five. <laughs> Louis C.K. Number four. Louis C.K. Honestly, let's get it. We basically missed all the Brits. Um, Jimmy Carr. Jimmy Carr, I, know, I love. You know, like Jimmy Carr? Uh, Fuck, I love Jimmy Carr. What's his face? Creator of The Office. I can't think of his name right now. Oh, Ricky Gervais. Ricky Gervais. Ricky Gervais. I didn't put him on my list. He's fucking hilarious. His last special was great, and his TV shows are all good. I just... He, when you're talking about guys who are, aren't known for being stand-up comedians, like that would top the list out of everyone we've talked about. Um, Fuck, I am so fucking hot. <laughs> I'm just fucking sweating <laughs> the bastard in here. I should cool down a little bit. Yeah. Hmm. You need to take a fan or something. Or just like, <laughs> uh, some air conditioning. Noise, though. All right. Are we happy? Are we I happy? think we're happy. We uh, the people I would fight with, Chris D'Elia, I think you guys are way off. Way All off. Right. But Some of the chat suggestions. We got Carrot Top, Underrated, Carrot Chelsea Top. Peretti, uh, Whitney Cummings, Amy Schumer. That's just basically when we were talking about women. Uh, Wait, Carlos said, Mencia, also an original <laughs> comedian. You are right. Yeah. Carlos uh, Mencia, you can fuck off. Skewt. Skewt. Um, real quick, if you are still watching, you're probably not. We got a slow pace going. Name Very someone sweet. who should be on this top ten. Name someone quick. You got now. Um, yeah, everyone's like complaints about no female. Like even like Flight of the Concords, but I guess like I know that's what I was gonna say too. Flight would be if this was 2013. Flight would be on here. They're alive. They Gerard just, Carmichael. Um, Jess Silinick. Is that how you spell his last name? Jess I think so. Jess so, Silinick. I think that just looks so funny. Wrong, but it's. I, don't know. I'm I'm sure like, I feel like half of these are fucking yeah. spelled poorly. Yeah. Could I have googled them? Sure. Yeah. Did I Google a lot of them? No. Yes. And still spell them okay. wrong? Okay. Yes. <laughs> Check the comments quick, and then if not, we're moving on. Yeah. Again, we're running long. Dad Dude. says Eddie Murphy. Delirious. Eddie Murphy. Again. If Eddie but... Murphy can put something out recently, Dad, I am with you. It's just been too long. Too long. Too long. But that stand-up comedy special, top five. Eddie Griffin. Eddie Griffin. No. <laughs> no. Dad, one of the top five stand-up specials of all time. You're correct. All right. We did it. We did. We made a list. We made a list. We checked it twice. There's how, a joke in many, there somewhere. How long are we Find into yourself. this? Should we eliminate a stoop? Oh. Where are we at? Should We're at like an hour. Okay, let's eliminate a stoop this week and then do a stoop next week. 
Sure. Sure. Yeah. I mean, so I'll just go fuck myself, I guess. Yeah, right. Well, you're running a game right now. Yeah, we do. Let's do a game. game. Let's do a game. Yeah, this game is going to take a while, though. I guess it'll just no, be, it's like, pretty no, it'll be quick. No, it'll be quick. It'll be just a year. All right. Do you want me to explain the game? Mm-hmm. After I do this. That was cool. Whoa! Whoa. Okay, I gotta have like a nice start here. <laughs> Alright, uh, Eric, fun. you got a game. Game of the week. What do you got? Um, I don't know what it's called. I just kind of made it up on the drive over here. Um, uh, so, <laughs> the game is, because the Golden Raspberries are coming out right away, I figured... Which are? Oh, the... Should know, people should know this. If you don't know what the Golden Raspberries are... <laughs> the golden like, ras- nobody knows that except hardcore movie fans. Okay, we're in the everyone. 30s. I promise not to pick one from the Um, 30s, so, so this is going to fall over. Um, yeah, I'm not going to look. Oh, no, use my growler. Because you can fuck up this shot. Nah, that's fine. That's a growler and a shot. Who will get mad about that? No one. Tyler will get mad. He's like, you can, you can see your fucking... There's a little bit of blur in the Tyler's corner. Tyler's not watching. Oh, you might be. Fuck them. All right. <laughs> um, so the game is so Golden Raspberries. Those are coming out soon. Golden Raspberries are every year after the Oscars come out. They have uh, what are called the Golden Raspberries, where they um, nominate the worst movies of the year. This year, it's fucking for sure going to be Cats. I think yeah. it's good. Cats. Uh, yeah, Cats is going to so set records. Definitely going to set records for so, records. So they have each year they have um, they nominate about five movies, just like the Oscars, and then you have to vote, and then um, yeah. Very, they pick the worst movie of the year. So like, the game is... They're very testy. These guys are going to each pick a year. I think we're going to do three rounds each. So yeah. say I two. say like first of three points or something. No, it's going to just go through. Best of three. Best of three? Any important okay. And then, um, so, uh, they'll they pick a year, like say 2003 or whatever. Ooh, I'll look up, I'll look up three shit movies plus the winner. Plus the winner of the Golden Raspberry. And then three Oscar winners. And they kind of jumble them up and then they have to pick which one... One the golden picture. raspberry that and which cool. which one one best picture. Got it. If you didn't really catch on, that makes sense because I explained that very fucking poorly. We are going to try and guess who won best and worst movie of the year, essentially. Bingo. Yeah. Yeah, you it summed it up pretty easily. Sorry, words. I'm fucking <laughs> not feeling good today. All right. Uh, Who's going first? Do a quick little rock paper scissors shoot. Shoot. Okay. Rock paper scissors shoot. Boom. All right, I'm gonna I go. Lose. I always lose. Pick a year. Oh, what year do I know that won the best picture? Let's say we can't do anything from 2010 and in. Let's use some memory. All right, nothing from the 2000. Yeah, nothing from the 2010. All right, 2001. Ooh. Year of 9/11. Is there a steal? <laughs> 2001. Alright, for fuck's sakes. I'm just gonna do it like this. You guys can fuck up. Just don't look at me. I'm looking. Okay, I'm not looking. Let's look at, let's stare at the people. Uh, 2001. It was a good year. 9 11 happened. That sucks. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) That does suck. 2001. Here are your options. This Oscars or Razzies? No, he he mixes them up and I have to figure out. Oh, wow. Pissing me off. Fucking growler. Okay. Moulin Rouge, Pearl Harbor, Driven, In the Bedroom, Beautiful Mind, Freddie Got Fingered. I know this one. Beautiful Mind wins Best Picture. Yes, it does. And, uh... You know this. Is it Freddie Got Fingered? Yes, it is. You know it is. Why are you helping him? You're trying to fucking beat the guy. I don't know. Come on. Freddie Got Fingered. Okay, so that's two points for Dane. Hey, yeah. <laughs> That was an easy year. Well, I, it wasn't an easy year if you don't watch movies. But that Freddy got fingered. Yes, we all found it funny when we were. I what, fucking love that. What were the other ones you said? There's one that I almost said. Pearl Harbor. Pearl Harbor. I was yeah, say. Pearl Harbor. Was that Pearl Harbor. Driven. Got it. Fuck, Driven was a shit movie. Let's do 2004. For 200, four. Alex. Oh, four. Watch, we'll get a copyright strike for for 200, Alex. <laughs> okay. Maybe if I do this. Do Surviving that. Christmas. Uh-oh. Alexander. Uh-oh. Million Dollar Baby. Okay. Aviator. Ray. Catwoman. Okay. Oh, uh, I know the Razzie this year. Can you read them again? Surviving Christmas. Yep. Alexander. Yep. Ray. 
Yep. Million Dollar Baby. Okay. Finding Neverland. Catwoman. So the Razzie went... This is a hard year. The Razzie went to Catwoman. And the Oscar went to... So I know Michael J. Fox won for Best Actor that year when he played Ray. Michael J. Fox. Or, sorry. What the fuck are you talking about? (laughs) Jamie Fox. The non-white Fox won. (laughs) Uh, Michael J. Fox was not doing well, shake, he was shake, shake. somewhere. <laughs> he was, um, they were both yeah. shaking somewhere. Bull Shaky Fox. Jamie Fox, that was <laughs> yeah, his Oscar win. Yeah. <laughs> that was his Oscar win. But Million Dollar Baby won Best Picture. Yeah. Two points for Coops. <laughs> I was going to say Ray, man. <laughs> but I was like, no, there's no way they had to split that up. All right. Makushla. Uh, Makushla. 19. Ooh. Ooh. One nine. 80. Jesus. Five. 85. Going way back. Alright, alright. We should almost make it that you have to do like the same decade as me. Like we should have done it in like decades. Okay. So like I said, it made 80s? up the scheme. Because did you do 2000s last time? I did 2000s no. last time. Okay. So we got to do an 80s and 90s and the 2000s? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Making it up as we go. Yep. Yeah. Rocky, is- Rocky IV. Ooh. Rambo. Oh. Out of Africa, Color Purple, Witness, oh. Year of the Dragon. <laughs> All right, Color Purple wins yeah. oh, Best yes. Picture. And... Give me him again. That's hard, eh? Yeah. You're like, which are good, which are bad. Uh, Rocky, four. Rocky Four, Rambo Two, uh, Color Purple, Out of Africa, uh, Witness, and Year of the Dragon. I'm gonna go. Ooh, Year of the Dragon. No, wait. Is that the one? No, that's Faces of Death. That Bruce Lee died, and then they like stuck a picture on his head <laughs> during the movie. Um, what? That happened? Yeah, he died during the film. So there's like a shot where he's in a mirror, and they just like cut out a face oh, of no. Bruce Lee and like stuck it on the mirror. Oh, so the no. actor's like in the mirror, like with his head, like but it's a picture of Bruce. That Lee. was like the good CGI got back <laughs> in 1985. <laughs> Uh, fuck. Uh, Out of Africa. One, the worst movie. I don't even know that movie. No. Uh, so Out of Africa got best picture that year. Oh, oh, oh zero shit. points. Shit. And zero what did points? you say for the worst one? He said Out of Africa. So yeah. zero points. Oh, yeah. I so thought yeah. it was Color Purple for sure. I saw color Out of Africa purple. got best picture and Rambo First Blood Part 2 got worst. Huh. The first Rambo? Oh, Part 2. You didn't read the full name. I said Rambo He two. said Part 2. Oh, you said 2. Okay. I didn't say Rambo First Blood Part 2. That's I didn't think a Rambo. Sentence. I thought Rambo 2 was one of the worst movies of all time. If it was Rocky 5, I would have said that. Yeah. Rocky 4. Hey, Rocky 5 is good, man. No, that's true. Does Rocky 5 have the robot? Oh, right. Rocky 4 is... Why the fuck is Rocky 4 in here? Which one Rocky 4 has Rocky 4 is the Russian. Yeah. Which like, one has the robot? That's Rocky uh, five. No, it's Rocky Four. That's Rocky Four. I think he's Happy Birthday, Birthday Polly. I think a few of them have Happy Birthday, Polly. Happy Birthday, Polly. Um, Kate, okay, we're doing eighties. Yep. Fuck. Nineteen eighty nine. That is correct. <laughs> that, is. that is correct. Right. Spanish oh. Armada. Seventeen. Okay. Six. Hey, that you took my pen because I'm gonna have to ask four times for the movies. My Left Foot, Roadhouse, Dead Poets Society, Karate Kid Part 3. Okay, slow down. Yeah, right? Slow Third way check. down. Okay. <laughs> My Left Foot. My Left Foot. That was the first Oscar for Daniel Day-Lewis. I know that for a fact. Roadhouse, Karate okay. Kid Part 2, or Part 3. Ooh. Born on the 4th of July. Okay. Drive Miss Daisy. Ooh. Star Trek The Final Frontier. Ooh, okay. Fuck. Um, read them again. Shit. My left foot. Roadhouse. <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to have to write these down. I'm drinking. These guys aren't. <laughs> My left foot. Yeah. Roadhouse. Okay. Karate Kid Part 3. Born on the 4th of July. Drive Miss Daisy. Star Trek 5. Okay. The final frontier. Star Trek. Trek. The final foot fetish. <laughs> I think I know both these. So My left foot. What year is Roadhouse. this? Roadhouse. 89. 89. 89. Year. Karate Kid 3. Uh, Born on the 4th, Driving Miss Daisy, Star Trek 5. Okay. What are we getting here for? So I got My Left Foot, Roadhouse, Cry Kid 3, Born on the 4th of July, Star Trek 5. That's 1, 2, that's 6. Okay. All right. These, I think these are hard, so good for you. So I'm, I know, I know that the Razzies are between Roadhouse, Karate Kid, and Star Trek 5. I know that. 
Let's go. Time limit here. <laughs> it's, like, it's, it's not best, a debate. It's just pick two. Best picture was Do you drive, call a friend best or picture, use a Best picture was driving Miss Daisy and the Razzie went to Karate Kid 3. You have one, right? Which Driving Miss Daisy. Yeah, was it Star Trek? Was it Star, Trek, Star Trek, 5? Trek 5, yeah. Ah, yeah, I was torn yeah, between yeah, those yeah. two. So Kooks is in the lead with three, Dane's trailing behind with two. So last round. Last round. Big this round. Is, this is like going to make or break 90s. It. Yeah, let's do 90s. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, 1996, one of the best years in cinema. Ooh. All right, here we go. 96. The Island of Dr. Moreau. Jerry Maguire. The Stupids. Spelled <laughs> <laughs> two O's? Fargo. I'm my own grandpa. Oh. Fargo, Striptease, The English Patient. Would you like me to say them again? Fuck. Do you want me to write them down for you? It goes no. quick. Uh, just one more time and then... Fuck. Okay. I don't know this, though. I the should pick 94! Do- the Island of Dr. Moreau. Jerry Maguire, The Stupids, Fargo, Striptease, The English Patient. All right. Island of Dr. Monroe wins the Razzie. Moreau. And... Say it, Moreau. Moreau. Uh, fuck. Those are some good pictures. You got a few good ones. And, sorry, one more time. The Island of Dr. Moreau, no. Jerry Maguire. No. The Stupids. Fargo, Strip Tease, The English Patient. The English Patient won Best Picture. No, it was Fargo. Did it? Fargo yeah. won Best Which Picture. Which one do you think won worst for gold? Which one do you think won the Golden Raspberry? Uh, uh, Island of Doctor. And you said The English Patient got? Yeah. 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 You're right about The English Patient. Oh, See? I thought it was Fargo for sure. Just kidding. The Stupids got Best Picture. <laughs> <laughs> and Strip Tease. Striptease. All right. Okay, I just need so, one out of these two. So if you get both, if Cooks gets both these wrong, then it's gonna go tiebreaker. Yeah. But striptease is who? Catherine. Let's Lady go. Jones? No, striptease is uh, what the fuck's your tits? Demi. Demi Moore. Demi Moore. Mm. No, no. Striptease is the one with the chick from Saved by the Bell. No, that's no, that's, Showgirl. that's oh, Showgirls. That's Showgirls. That's a good movie. <laughs> that's a bad movie. That's a good. Movie. Striptease is better that than Showgirls. I remember hot watching take, when I was a kid. Hot was take. Like, striptease is better than Showgirls. Um. That is a. Yeah, I, yeah. Uh, let's right. go. All right, big year. So we're 1998. Tied? That was also a good year. Because I think that's when Goodwill Hunting was made. That's me hedging bets. Okay. Saving Private Ryan. All right, so Kook needs oh. the postman. Two points, or one point. Two. Anaconda. Ooh. Speed 2, cruise Control. Ooh. Life is beautiful. Shake a spear in love. Oh, wow. Okay, I don't know these. Um, Fuck, I know this. Okay, say Both it again. No, I can't remember. Okay, same Brad Ryan. Yeah. The Postman. Speed the Postman. Two, Anaconda. Speed 2, Anaconda. Um, Life is Beautiful, Shakespeare in Love. Okay, the winning Oscar was... The winning Oscar was Saving Private Ryan, and the Razzie went to The Postman. Oh, Shakespeare in Love. Shakespeare in Love, but the Postman did win. Oh, so Cooks huh. wins. So Cooks wins that fucking I'm good game. At challenges. Four. I like these Dane games. Three. I thought Dean would have taken that, but I guess he's fucking. He picked stupid. a bad year. '96 was tough. That was a tough year. I'm surprised Independence no, Day didn't 86. get that. '86. I didn't get anything in '86. Oh. I said '86, '96, and 2006. You said '85. You said '85, '96, oh, okay. and 2001. One. One. Yeah. Those are all the weird yeah. years. Yeah, it was random. All right, game over. That's a good game. I like it. I I am so good at games. Besides trying to bet Emily, I've been I've been hot, hot with games. Next week I'll host the game, so I can't win. Fuck. <laughs> Both those. <laughs> I knew Shakespeare in Love fucking stole all the fucking Oscars. She, she get, she get spirit love. Quick quick recommendations and get out of here, Dean. Yep. Uh, can I I want to go. I think we're all gonna say it. Jojo Rabbit. Watched it today. It's a doozy. Again, you didn't watch it. You slept through it. Fuck, I fell asleep for like 10 minutes and they said, you didn't even see the whole fucking movie. <laughs> I he didn't honestly, even understand the importance of dancing at the end. I just, ooh. Oh. He was like, why is she dancing? I was, like, oh. I was just like kidding. Like, the I dancing you. was big. The shoes, the shoes the whole movie was big. Uh, I just no, watched no that spoilers, too. No spoilers. 
some of these people haven't seen it yet. Yeah, well, they'll see the shoes. It's just a shot of shoes. Yeah. Yeah, but this I saw that part and I was like, mm, you motherfucker. It's the second time I watched it. Take it's, it's my favorite movie of the year. I think. Oh, you'd seen that movie before? It's really oh. good. It's have really you seen good. Parasite if you yet? have not seen Jojo Rabbit, tell give a quick synopsis. Uh, uh, the it's... parts you were awake for. <laughs> uh, is uh, about a little boy who's um, like training to be a Nazi, and then he finds a Jewish girl living in her attic, or in his attic, and then decide, and then finds out that Jews aren't that horrible, and then becomes friends with her, and then they get into some wacky adventures. And Hitler is like his like alter ego, or is like his like imaginary Played friend. Played by the great. And the director is the guy that plays Hitler. Hitler. Does a great job. Taka. Taika Waititi. Taika 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 Waititi. Taika Waititi. How does it fuck? I, ju- I just, know. just like two, like a day ago, I finally could like pronounce his name properly. <laughs> I was just like Taika la la la. I just don't know what the fuck his name was. He, uh, guys, if you don't know who that is, he, uh, he's from New Zealand. Um, he funny, won, funny bloke. He won best adaptation of a screenplay. We talked about it when we talked the Oscars. The Oscars. Yeah. He did that. He did the last the last Thor movie that was really good. Um, yeah, he has one of the best movies of, time, to get of all time about vampires. Um, I mean, I'm not going to spoil that movie in case it's suggested later, but it's one of the best movies of all time. Um, great movie. You're a great pick, Eric. Just saw it the other day. Well, you were leaving. You were leaving Stanchel's house. Yeah. I can't remember where I was going. Last weekend. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Last weekend. You were leaving Stanchel's and you wanted to stay. We... I just checked. Right, none of this is important. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Anyways, so yeah, <laughs> fucking watch Jojo Rabbit or else fuck off. <laughs> I like it. Um, yeah, uh, I'm sweating like a prick. Yeah, like uh, it's so goddamn hot in this fucking. Let's <laughs> 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 up and end this, and I'll right. start rambling. All right, do you want? Do you want to go? All right, I'm gonna recommend uh, because it's been 15 years since today that it aired Avatar: The Last Airbender cartoon show. Oh, they can say the Avatar the movie. That came out fucking 15 years ago. 15 years ago, it came out today. It is one of the greatest just shows in general, not even just cartoons. It it does something where it sets up what it's gonna do in season one. And then it fucking delivers, and you're just so satisfied. Uh, I'm also gonna say BTS dropped out a new album. Go listen to it. No, don't K-pop. do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. I don't but need the, those stands. Who? Yeah, BTS. let's get all the K-pop fans to yeah. watch us. Ah, well, yeah, we love K-pop. Army unite. Spread, spread this on Twitter. K-pop we love Army. BTS. Blackpink. They are BTS. Eric, they're a K-pop Twice. band, and they are more popular than any band on planet Earth right now. They're basically, it's Korean Backstreet Boys. What, what are they called? BTS. I fuck with K-pop. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're Korean Backstreet Boys. Oh, okay. Go to the trending right. page on YouTube and it'll be the number no, one trending page. BTS. 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 If you, yeah, that's rough. <laughs> that's rough. Um, yeah, but we love them because of followers. Um, Go for it. My recommendation, I'm going to throw back too uh, as well because I've been given a lot of like newer hip-hop artists. I think everyone's at the age where you might have forgot about Outkast like a little bit. You know what I mean? Everyone here is Hey Yeah, but uh, go listen to their their essentials. Go to their essentials on iTunes. Like uh, Outkast. The two best albums, uh, AT Aliens and Stanconia. Check out both those albums in full. They're amazing. Uh, 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 what's the other one? Aquar- Aquarius? Aquim? I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Aquim? No, that's a song. But uh, I am for real. The, so- hey, hey, the songs, uh, the songs, Rosa Parks, uh, Miss boy. Jackson, B.O.B., Spotty, Audi, Dopealicious, International Players Anthem, So Fresh and So Clean, Roses, and oh, hey, yeah, everyone likes. But yeah, go check that out. But uh, that's my recommendation. Go give them a listen. I did it again today for the first time in a long time, and I was so sad it took me so long to re-listen. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> Eric, shake it. All right. I'm just fucking... It is hot in here. It's hot. We're sweating. Is that a song by Outkast? <laughs> no, it's getting Nelly. hot in here. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Right I request now. that. Go listen to that, too. It's getting hot in here by Nelly. <laughs> Once again, thank you for anyone who is tuning in live or for anyone who watches later on YouTube or on Twitch. This has been another episode of the Spare Bedroom Podcast recorded live in a spare bedroom. Once again, if you haven't already, hit that follow button, like, subscribe, leave a comment, tell a friend, follow us on all social media platforms. Until next time, I'm still Dane, that's still Eric, and that's still Kooks. Now get the fuck out of our room. Bye! Bye! Bye!